Good morning, guys. It's Friday, the 2nd of April, 2021. I'm having a cup of coffee, as usual. And I've had another lockdown haircut. Right, we got up nice and early again this morning. I'm a glutton for punishment. Um, I really need to get those uh, beds done today. So I brought some, uh, some cardboard up with me. Uh, and I want to get at least one of the beds done, if not all three. I'll just some more compost in the boot of the car, because I don't think them 20 bags will go far on those three beds. And um, we're going to make some no-dig beds today, hopefully. And then if we have time, we're going to make the door for the greenhouse as well. Just had a quick look in uh, the frill stencil shed, where we have only the three pairs of pigeons in there. And the white bar check paired to the black blondinette cock out on two eggs. Our little uh, reduced trigonino paired to the black white barred toy stencil cock out on two eggs. And the blondinette cock, the old blondinette cock on the bottom. It's paired to the Lebanon F1 hen around one egg. Now I don't know whether she's only going to lay the one or whether she has only just laid the first egg and perhaps will lay the second one shortly. So there's at least five eggs in there guys so they're on the way with the first round. Whether any of them are full or not remains to be seen. I haven't been into this stock loft yet to check to see if those rings are still on the youngsters we rung yesterday and late yesterday evening I was having a look at the youngsters off the uh, ice bar stroke barless uh, youngsters and it looks like they should be ready for ringing today with a bit of luck so I'm going to have this cup of coffee and that's the first thing we'll do then we'll get uh, over in the growing area take the gate out get the boot unloaded with all the uh, compost uh, so we've got another 10 bags of compost. And then we'll make a start on the beds. I know there's still stuff to do with the greenhouse. Um, but the majority of the hard work is done now. I want to get the beds done now. And then I've got the ready for. Um, to start and plant these little seedlings that we've got in here. And that can be done sometime through the week. Tomorrow. Uh, Today is a beautiful day. But it's bitterly cold. And there was frost on the car. Uh, this morning and on all the rooftops uh, but it's starting to warm up now that the sun's got up tomorrow is the sort of last fine day according to the forecast so I've decided we're going to have uh, a meeting with the grandchildren up here at the allotment in an open space where we can keep well apart from each other uh, with my daughter and the grandkids and my daughter-in-law and her son as well and my other grandkid so we're going to have a little bit of a picnic tomorrow with a bit of luck, weather permitting. We're all just going to come up here, possibly throw some blankets on the landing, sit on the landing, keep keep our distance and have a little bit of a picnic, uh, which would be for the grandkids. Give them some Easter eggs and things like that. Right, I'm going to have this cup of coffee, guys. I'll crack on with the day and I'll bring you along as we go along. Hi guys, we're in the stock loft. And this is the youngster off the uh, white barred frill stencil cock and the Andalusian hen. Growing really, really well, as you can see. And these are the two youngsters off the uh, white check toy stencil cock and the black hen. Put rings on those yesterday, they were still on last night, they're gone this morning. We'll leave them another day before we ring them. But we've just put two rings under the ice bar, stroke barless, hens, youngster, youngsters down here. We have a young qualmond and it's a blue by the look of it, or a blue qualmond, I, don't, I think it's just a blue, uh, to be honest, and a young qualmond. 
as you can see. Moving on. Looks like our milk has laid her first egg on the second round, just this morning. And our block hen has laid her second egg. Then we have our brown barless hen. I just need to check that the ring is still on her youngster. Come on, let's come on. Yep, the ring's still on that one. That's good. Pleased with the hen stain on the nest as well, guys. She's only a young, uh, last year's young bird as well. And uh, sometimes the hens don't stay put. But these two are really interesting, these here. So these are off our almond and dark check hen. And it's almost certainly that's going to be like a khaki brown. And this one is a brown white flight by the looks of it. Yeah, that one's a brown white flight. The other one looks like to be a khaki brown, but it could make out to be a pale brown almond. We don't know, we'll have to wait and see how they go guys, but they're growing really well. And then we have the youngster of the white bar cock, which at the moment appears to be just a blue, but we haven't got any bars to distinguish yet. But I'm looking at that white tip on the beak. Oh, it could, it could turn out to be an indigo. Then we have our other youngster down here. This is off the uh, the two indigos, the double factor indigo and the single factor indigo. And it's still got a ring on. Good. And this is our youngster off the satinette with the Lebanon white toy check. In theory, this should be toy off roll stencil. We want not to get to be bigger, but as you can see, the beak is definitely bigger than the satinette, but smaller than the Lebanon. But uh, yeah, we'll see how that turns out, guys. Like I said, we didn't put a ring on that one, just in case it ends up with thick legs. We didn't want to end up having to cut it off again. And then last but not least, we have our almond hen. On a, a big youngster. Come on, lass, come on, come on. Come on then, let's have a little look. And this looks to be a nice dark brown, spread brown. So with a bit of look, that's a hen. We'll keep that for the full stencil project. We were hoping to get some uh, spread browns, so that could be a hen, or should be a hen. And I'm really, really puzzled at these two browns here though. I mean, we put brown into that almond, that almond cock is off this hen with the brown spread cock. But I really didn't expect full spread browns. But like I say, they, took, they could turn into almonds, I don't know. This one looks as though it'll stay a uh, brown white flight, but the paler one could either be a khaki cock like his granddad, or it could be a brown almond. We don't know, it grows a bit. Either way, everything's going great in here, guys. So far, so good. Just going to give them a bit more food. Hey, guys, I'm not trying to teach anyone how to suck eggs here. I'm sure everybody knows what no dig is by now. So basically, as you can see, I've left the, the middle part purposely, so you can see. We're going straight on top of weeds and grass with the cardboard. Then I'm going to mark out my line 
from the end of the uh, from the end of the polytunnel greenhouse up here to give me a pretty much even path down here and then the beds will go straight on top of that staked in to keep them square and then we'll start to fill them up catch you later guys and just like that guys they're done cardboard down string line up we've got that let me put it in place and we've used this head square over there to give us our distance between walking distance between the two beds and that's basically what I've set them at just to make them pretty much symmetrical you don't have to be absolutely precision with these guys basically we just want it to look relatively tidy like we did with all these ones And it just helps to keep everything tidy, doesn't it, guys? As I say, they're all planted out with potatoes at all those beds. With uh, our some of, uh, some of our, we'll probably put our bunches of spring onions in here, and then we'll grow our some of the other onions on, and then they'll eventually go in here when I make a little bit of a, a netted framing over that bed, so that we can uh, get them protected. We actually got a good crop in there last year. All the little trees are starting to bud up now as well, guys. And as you can see, our garlic's coming along. And we still need to take this bit of fence out here so we can go straight through into the greenhouse and into the other bit of garden. We'll have to leave that bit because that's basically the backside of that bed. And we're not going to take this down again now. So, yeah. What I'm probably going to have to do though is that gate right at the top up there. Is put a board across the bottom of that gate where it's just big chain link fencing. Because I think that's where the rabbit's coming in here. And then of course it's just wandering down that path and into here. Because we sealed the back one up over there. And I can't think anywhere else it can be coming in. I don't think it's coming in here. Mind having said that. Oh yeah, we've got cheating across there, so it's not coming through there. So it must be coming through that fence there. And that is quite big mesh. It's probably coming through there, guys. Right. I'm going for a cup of coffee and then I'm going to fill these, start filling these beds up. Those posts are only tapped in with the hammer for now. Uh, they all need levelled out. And I haven't made my mind up whether to leave them sticking up like that so I can drape fleece or whatever I need to over the top or whether to rear them flush and make some framing that can basically sit between this and that. We were going to put these down into the ground, but I changed my mind. That's about the thickness of a slate and a lot, perhaps. Or maybe make some framing that we can just sit on top of here. I haven't made my mind up yet, guys. I'll have a think about that one while I'm having a cup of coffee. Right, guys, it's 11.30 now. Um, I'm definitely not going to kill myself today. I'm going to do what I can until I've had enough and I'm tired. My back's still not right from yesterday. Uh, I was in absolute agony last night when I went home. Uh, even after soaking in the bath and taking paracetamol twice, uh, I was still in quite a lot of pain. Got up this morning and I still had a bit of a twinge. And even just doing that, bending down, squaring those beds up, knocking the posts or so far in. Um, I know it's, it's, it's not a lot and most people would do this in an hour, but. You know, uh, it can be a struggle for me these days, so it's done anyways. Um, I'm going to have this cup of coffee, I'm not going to dehydrate myself like I did yesterday. I only had two cups of coffee the whole day I was up here yesterday as well, so I'm having a cup of coffee now. Um, little enough, so I'm having a bit of a break, and then we'll get back over there. 
Now, um, I don't know how much more I'm going to get done, but I'm at least going to try and get that compost. Depending on how my, if my back will take it, I'm going to try and get all that compost put into the beds. And spread it out between the three, see how far we are, how we can get with it, and uh, whether we need any more. Um, even if I only get that done today and I don't get the greenhouse doors done, I'm not too fussed. It's boarded up and it's secure for now as far as I'm concerned. But we'll just see how it goes guys, I'll bring you along later. Right guys, for anybody who's interested, this might help some people out. If you've got a bit of waste ground, weeds, grass, anything like this, and you want to quickly make it into a vegetable growing place, um, there's thousands of videos out there on how to do this with an dig, but just for information that might help you out with costs etc. So I got these pallet collars free from a supermarket as it happens. Tony brought me them when he brought me all those pallets. These particular pallets are four foot in length by three foot in width and the boards are eight foot, uh, sorry, eight inches, eight inches in depth. That's quite a depth when you're filling with compost. Let me just give you an idea of the cost to fill it to this level. So in there, we've put six bags, six of these bags here, which we got from Aldi, at two pounds 79 each. It's not a promotional video guys, it's just where I happened to get it. £2.79 and it's very very good compost this. And we put a total of six bags in there guys. So even if you said it was three quid a bag, about 18 quid to fill this. To fill this uh, I could squeeze another one in there and call it 21 quid. In fact I maybe will put another one in once we've got the other beds finished off and see how many we've got left. I might be put another one in there which will be basically it'll be seven bags at three quid a bag 21 quid knock off the coppers 20 quid so for 20 40 60 quid you'll have three very productive four foot by three foot growing areas i'm going to crack on and get these other ones filled up and i'll catch you later guys right guys not sure how well you're going to be able to hear this Basically what I've done is I've covered this entire path now. I've run out of cardboard, so I've just covered it over with plastic uh, for now. But because this is going to be a path anyway, it's a big broad path, I'm going to basically leave it like this. And down that end there, once we've taken this bit of fence out, we're probably going to put some paven flags from the back fence at least, possibly to the start, uh, start of the greenhouse here so we've got all those spare flags over there we might just flag that area there guys so when I come to do the door I'm gonna to have to think about raising it a bit so it'll clear those um, but that won't be won't be a problem but the thing is I'm absolutely wiped out with all the work I done yesterday and what I've done today I'm afraid uh, I've, I've basically had enough it's only half past two in the afternoon but I've had enough I'm going home so we've got the beds finished off, we've got all of these posts knocked down to 7 inches. No particular reason it's 7 inches, just that's what I thought would be a sensible height. We've left them at 7 inches, we can either cut them off or we can knock them further in if we change our mind at a later date. But we've got all of these beds done, got this path tidied up because the growth is now starting as you can see. But down this edge here, it was getting the ba the bags of compost had kept it at bay. But the minute I've removed those bags of compost from compost from down here, that was just going to take flight. And all this is old, really tough nettle, so I've got that covered over as well, guys. Hence the reason why we use plastic. But I have run out of cardboard as well. Uh, I have a little tiny bit left, but wasn't anywhere near enough to do this. I wanted to just do it quickly. And so what we've done is we just used these off cuts of plastic that we had and I just thought I'd get this done. I really did want to get the door done on the greenhouse but you know what, I've really really had enough, I'm burned out. I'm going over for a cup of coffee, final round up in the shed and I'm going on guys. Right guys, that's basically it, I'm calling it a day. 
Uh, just having a nice cup of coffee and I'm going home. Um, I'm not feeling too well at all. I think I've overdone it. Um, I know this doesn't seem like a lot to some people, but it, it's, it's catching me up. Um, I'm not feeling too good at all, even though I've had something to eat this morning as well and a couple of cuppers. I'm just going to go down home and chill out. And tomorrow, um, I'm not going to do anything. We're just going to come up here and spend some time with the grandkids and my daughter and my son and my uh, stepdaughter and the other grandson. Uh, we're probably just going to come up here, have a little bit of a picnic, let them go and find some Easter eggs around the allotment and then uh, basically get ourselves the way home after we've uh, spent a little bit of time with the grandchildren. I really need to have some time to myself, guys. Hope you've enjoyed what little bit of content I've been able to provide. Um, hope somebody's finding it useful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, thumbs down, whichever you choose. That would be great, guys. Uh, the subscribers are still going up slowly. Uh, and thanks again to everyone who's subscribed, liked and commented. For now, guys, whatever you are in the world, please stay safe. Be practical and keep yourselves out of harm's way. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.